First law of thermodynamics. Definition. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy can be transformed from one form to another but can be neither created nor destroyed. Now, the first law of thermodynamics is often formulated by stating that the change in the internal energy of a closed system is equal to the amount of heat supplied to the system plus the amount of work done by the system on its surrounding. So, the formula is now delta U is equal to Q plus W. Now we will see that what do each of these terms mean delta Q, Q and W. Now we will start with the internal energy which is represented by delta U. So what is internal energy? The sum of all the forms of molecular energies kinetic and potential of a substance is termed as its internal energy. In study of thermodynamics, usually ideal gas is considered as working substance. The molecules of an ideal gas is mere mass point which exert no force on one another. So the internal energy of an ideal gas system is generally the translational kinetic energy of its molecule. Since the temperature of the system is the average kinetic energy energy of its molecule thus an, for an ideal gas the internal energy is the directly proportional to its temperature in thermodynamics the internal energy is a function of state consequently it does not depend on the path but depends on the initial and final state of the system Now, what is heat? Heat is the energy transformed from one system to another solely by the reason of a temperature difference between the system. Heat exists only as it crosses the boundary of a system and the direction of heat transfer is from higher temperature to the lower temperature. So, for thermodynamics, sign conventions are very important. So, what are the sign conventions for heat? Heat transfer to a system is positive and heat transfer from a system is negative. Work. In thermodynamics, work is the energy interaction between a system and its surrounding and associated with the process. In thermodynamics, sign conventions are very important. Work done by the system on the surrounding is positive and work done on the system by the surrounding is negative. Now, I will explain you the mechanism of first law of thermodynamics. Consider a gas enclosed in a cylinder having a frictionless piston. When the quantity of heat Q is supplied to the system, its internal energy U1 changes to U2 and the piston moves upward. The change in the internal energy is given by delta U is equal to U2 minus U1 is equal to Q plus W. In the equation, Q represents the amount of heat absorbed by the system and W represents the work done in moving piston up. And if W is pressure volume work then above expression assume the following forms delta q is equal to q plus p delta v when the piston is kept in its original position the volume of the gas is not allowed to change delta v is equal to zero so equation will be in the following form delta q is equal to q this shows that a change in the internal energy of a system at a constant volume is equal to the heat absorbed by the system Examples Bicycle Pump A bicycle pump provides a very good example of the first law of thermodynamics. When we pump on the handle rapidly, it becomes hot due to mechanical work done on the gas, rising thereby its internal energy. Let's suppose if there is a thermocouple attached to the bicycle pump to record the air temperature. When the piston is rapidly pushed, thermometer shows a temperature rise due to increase of internal energy. The push force does work on the air thereby increasing its internal energy because of temperature of air.
heat engine. In thermodynamics, a heat engine is a system that converts heat or thermal energy and chemical energy to the mechanical energy, which can be used to do mechanical work. It does this by bringing the working substance from a higher state to the lower state. A heat source generates thermal energy that brings the working substance to the high temperature state. The working substance generates work in the working body of the engine while transforming heat to the colder sink until it reaches a low temperature state. During this process, some of the thermal energy is converted into work by accelerating the properties of working substance.